All right, we're going to learn about passing by reference. So I am going to modify my first number here. And in front of it, I am going to put REF. Okay, so in the last video, I showed you that the value of X didn't change when we passed it in here to first number and then multiplied first number by two. But now we put reference, uh, short for reference in here, REF, meaning we're going to pass the argument into this method by reference. So this is going to refer back to the thing that we're passing in, in this case is X. Notice that once I did that, I got an underline on that X. So I need to add the word ref in here to make sure it knows we're passing a reference to X. Okay, so by adding ref in the argument, and then when we make the method call, uh, we, we put it in front of the parameter as well. First number will be now linked to X, the argument that we pass in. So that the changes that happen here will actually be reflected on this variable outside. And to prove it, I'm going to go up here. We'll do it uh, items.add again. And we'll put in x equals. And we'll just print out the value of x so that you can see that it actually gets modified now. It's going to get modified by this method. So I'm going to take out the breakpoint first and we'll run it. I'm going to click go. And you see x equals 14. So the value of x did get changed. We know x is equal to 7. When we passed it, x into this method, add two numbers, it changed it by 2. It multiplied first number by 2. But since first number was linked by reference back to x, x also got multiplied by 2. It's actually operating on the same value. It's referencing a memory location where that 7 was stored. Okay. So now, rather than passing by value, the second number we didn't change. It's passed by value, or we're passing a copy of the value into the method. But now we're passing it by reference. So now it's linking this argument, excuse me, linking this parameter back to the original argument and modifying it. So we don't use that a lot. Uh, but we do need to use it when we pass objects in, which we're a little ways from doing that yet. If we pass an object in, it's almost always passed by reference. We're not creating duplicate objects. Uh, if we want to follow this, let's um, put our breakpoint right here. We'll go ahead and run this. I like to use the debugger. I want you guys to get to know the debugger. So X is 7, Y is 5. We come down here, first number is seven. When this line is done, first number is now 14. We're gonna return the total. Back to here, we're getting ready to set Z, but notice what, if I come over here and look at X right now, X is 14. So this, First, multiplying first number by two also affected, since it was referring back to X, it affected X, pass by reference. And we'll get back to our form. And we saw what that did already. While we're here, let's go ahead and talk about default arguments. So let's do this, int second number, equals 15. All right, so I have a parameter here, but I assign the parameter. Oop, got to stop my, stop my code before I do that. But I assign the parameter a default value of 15. Now, if I run my code the way it is, we'll see exactly what we saw before. X equals 14, the total is nine, 19. Uh, so it added the 5 that we had for y, which got passed into second number. Okay. Because I 
when I called the method right here, I passed it two numbers. But since I set a default on the second value, I can call that method with a single value now. And notice I don't get a red squiggly by calling it with a single value. And it will automatically, since I didn't pass the second value, it will automatically set that value to 15. So our first number will get multiplied by 2. That'll be 14. Add it to the second number, which should be 15. We should get 29 out. And we do. All right. So a default value, one, it needs to be the last thing. Okay. If we're going to use default values, they have to be come after items that have to be set or passed in. Um, so we can use a default value here gives the calling uh, the method call the option of only passing one of the parameters and being filled in automatically with the default so if i let's just put a debug point here and run it again to demonstrate get used to using your debugger okay so i ran it we're already in here first number equals seven okay that was passed in by this method call okay second number is equal to 15. It took the default value because I didn't pass in anything with an argument. All right, so that's an example passing by reference and using a default argument. In this case, this one's passed by reference. This one was passed by value. Actually, it wasn't even passed. We used the default argument. Okay, so lots of different ways to use parameters that we haven't talked about before. These, these are probably new.